Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do like a kind of teeny weeny art challenge. I know that there's a few of these around on the internet. It's not actually the teeny weeny art challenge that you see a lot. I just wanted a really fun name to say um, for a challenge and teeny weeny is such a fun word to use. So um, it's not following the teeny weeny style of the art challenges that I've seen on the internet. But basically what I'm doing is I'm going to be making a pen pal letter and um, I'm going to make a small version of it and I thought that would be really cute and it would be a nice challenge for us to do today. Um, so if you do have a pen pal that likes miniature versions of things, I thought it'd be really nice for you to make the real pen pal letter for them and then make like a tinier version. So I searched through all my art supplies and I found things that uh, were that they, they had in a larger size and in a smaller size. So the first thing I'm doing here is I'm making a large envelope and then a small envelope out of the exact same paper just so they kind of looked similar. Um, and then I'm just folding it like a really basic origami envelope, just two at the side, one up, and then I'll seal it at the top later. So the next thing I'm doing is I'm just including these really nice, what would you call them? Just kind of like, I've got a few cutouts from magazines. I've got some like life cards and just some nice quotes. And um, as you can see, there's like a pink shiny one underneath and I cut out a really small rectangle and a large rectangle. Um, and then I've got all these tiny little papers as well and I've just tied them up and they're really cute I thought so the next thing I'm doing is I'm going to be including a regular size tea into my package and I'm also attempting to make a like a teeny tea <laughs> um, so at the beginning I had no idea how I was going to do this so I just started cutting and I was like oh I better think about this a bit more so I emptied into this little bowl and then I thought I wanted for the person to see the tea obviously this tea is not edible because there is sticky tape on it and I wanted to use that little tag that dangles off the side of the teacup as my main design now as you can see I'm like trying some a few different ways to make it look like a tiny tea but the way I thought it looked best was just making the tiny tea and then popping it on the back and then including the string and a little thing that can dangle off the side um, if you've got a tiny teacup at home. <laughs> um, I thought it'd be really fun also to make tiny things like tiny teacups and like tiny um, like mailbox but I think that would be a video for another day if you guys are interested so just let me know. I could make a tiny post box and some tiny males, like fairy size males. So I'm also just including some stickers and I've got this tiny envelope and a larger envelope. And this tiny envelope was from Japan and I just thought it was so incredibly cute. And I got all these little tiny stickers from a pen pal. So thank you. Um, and yeah, I've just included them and I've got a regular size paper clip and a big size paper clip. So I thought that was also very cute. So lastly, I'm just decorating the envelopes and I've decorated them the exact same way. I had two stickers that were quite similar, just one was larger and was smaller and they were little hedgehogs and then I had a small and large um, stamp to match and I also just had washi tape and then I could just cut it in half to make it look smaller. So now you can just see me laying them all out. So I've got my little tiny cutouts and my big cutouts, my big tea and my tiny tea and then my big envelope and tiny envelope full of stickers. So now I'm just going to package them all together and I thought it was very adorable to have a small and large package and they're both going to go to the same person in one larger envelope. So I'm not actually going to write a tuna from on the front but um, I will leave just the two in case they decide to reuse the envelope or it might just be cute for them to feel like it's been sent to someone. So there you go, all sealed up, and I thought it was really fun just to make a big version and a tiny version. So if you do make your own, um, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and um, tag me in the video. I would really love to see what you come up with. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this challenge today. It was really fun. Thanks for watching. Bye.